Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you guys can see by the title, today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the whole collection, the brand new collection, the full fantasy. It is a collection that Laura Lee Los Angeles, AKA Laura Lee and Menu MUA Lunar Beauty actually collabed on. And I have everything to show you guys. We got swatches, reviews, and I'll let you guys know what is worth your money and what is not. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, let's get into it. I wanted to apologize for my appearance. This is my third video today that I filmed. Um, I'm going out of town and I really wanted to get this video out for you guys at a good time to see, just to help you guys out, uh, see what you guys want to purchase. So for full transparency, uh, nothing is sponsored, but I am on Laura Lee Los Angeles PR list. And so I did just receive the whole collection, which I'm super happy about because then I can review it for you guys. Um, I just want to say I love Menu MUA, I love Laura Lee. I'm so grateful to be on Laura Lee Los Angeles um, PR. It's amazing, I can't believe like she even thinks of me. I love them both and I really love their podcast. So I really think that this idea was great because you're combining two best friends, with a podcast that they do with both of their uh, makeup companies. I will say I have tried a lot of things from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I love her brushes. You guys know I'm always using them. Everything that I've tried from her have been really, really nice. This will actually be my first time trying anything from Lunar Beauty. So I'm excited to see what they came up with together. So as you guys can see, there is a really big bag right here. Um, Laura Lee Los Angeles has these bags that are a little bit smaller and I use them all the time to travel. And I actually fit the whole collection in here. So you can fit a lot of stuff. I'm gonna take this on my trip actually. So the cosmetic bag is only $15 and these are like nylon bags, they're super nice. And then in the collection, there's also a bunch of brushes. If you do buy the brush set, it is gonna be $70 and it comes with the bag. So these are the brushes that it comes with. Of course, we'll try them all on. And then bullet lipsticks, they did come out with two bullet lipsticks. Both of these are $14 each. You can buy the duo for $20 and save some money and then we have the full fantasy blush palette this blush palette is gonna be $35 then we have the eyeshadow palette it's gonna be $48 and then full collection you can buy for $135 and it'll come with everything and you do save some money because all of this is valued at $207 so you save quite a bit of money if you buy it all together I already took away the unicartons look how stunning stunning they look um unicartons are just as nice as the palettes if you guys were wondering but let me show you guys the full fantasy color palette so this is what it looks like it is absolutely stunning first let me just show you guys huge mirror so i'm going to turn it over just so i can show you guys all the shades this is what the palette looks like look at all these shades you get 18 shades total you get eight mattes and 10 shimmers and reflective shimmers and again a really really nice big mirror perfect for traveling these are the swatches and as you guys can see you do get quite a bit of neutral shades and then amazing pops of colors and let me just say that these shimmers look unbelievable so obviously we're gonna have to do something fun today and then i did want to use the eye brushes as well so this brush is actually a duo brush you have a pencil and then a flat shader i love a big brush like this laura lee always does like huge brushes which i love it makes life so much easier so this is the number two this is a flat little smudge brush this one is number three and it is a medium blender brush and then like i mentioned laura lee los angeles and now i guess many mua they do huge brushes so this is a large blender brush the f4 of course we'll use um the face ones when we do our face okay so i'm gonna set my concealer with some translucent powder um just whatever but i wanted to use this little brush to do that with so um this is a huge brush and i love it it actually feels really really nice yeah, i think i kind of want to mess with the pinks and the blues because i know you guys don't want me to keep it safe okay so first let's go into the shade besties this is like a taupey a little bit of a pinky taupey shade oh wow okay um that is very pigmented Okay, um, I grabbed some and tapped the excess off the brush, but that already like covered my lid. It's a really nice like transition shade. I'm gonna grab the smaller fluffy brush and um, why don't we use Not My Vibe. Now this is definitely more of a warm tone shade. Um, I'm gonna use it to start darkening the outer corner as well as a little under the crease. This can also be a really nice transition shade 
Uh, really for anyone, but especially for like darker skin tones, it's just like a nice warm tone, beautiful shade. So far so good. So far very buttery, pigmented, blendable. Now I'm gonna go to the pencil brush and I'm gonna use the shade What's Going On. <laughs> I watched their podcast way too much and I'm gonna start darkening out really leaving it on the outer corner I'm just creating a frame for like the star of the show which is the two shades that I'm gonna be using but that's really really pretty too so now I want to use the shades full fam and Aries um, oh my god there has to be a Virgo in here cuz Laura Lee yep I'm a Virgo too oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, the sun. Okay, so that's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so sorry if you guys see like sun reflections. Uh, I can't really tell the sun what to do. They're extremely creamy, like you would think that they're cream shadows. Well, why don't we use the sun to our advantage? Look at that. <laughs> um, this looks gorgeous. And then I'm gonna grab the blue shade, which is Aries. And I don't know, I guess we're going for like an aquamarine vibes and I'm just gonna put this in the middle because I kind of want like a little bit of like an ombre. I don't know, you guys never let me do neutral looks anymore so now I'm just trying to have fun with it. Keep in mind, I'm not even using a wet brush and yet this still looks absolutely stunning. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I was about to wipe my fingers and I just wanted to show you like what we're working with. Oh, so nice. Now I'm gonna grab the little smudger brush and I'm actually gonna use it to add the shade Break Time, which is a black shade. And I'm just going to use it as a little bit of like an eyeliner moment. Um, mainly keeping it on the outer corner and flicking it out. So far all these shades are so pigmented. They're blending effortlessly into each other. First impressions, uh, this was stunning. I think that this palette, it really comes down to if you like the shades because the formula is there. Like the formula is amazing. These mattes are super pigmented, super creamy. The shimmers are like incredible. So for my first impression, if you guys like the shade range, then buy the palette because like I said, the quality is there. So we'll come back to finish out the eyes here in a minute. I'm gonna go off camera and do some of my makeup. I'm back and I wanted to finish out the lower lash line with you guys. So I'm gonna grab the medium, fluffy brush and we're gonna grab a mixture of not my vibe and what's going on and I'm just going to put that on the lower lash line see how pigmented they are like you really don't even need to build up the pigment like it's there I went ahead and wet this and I'm gonna grab the shade hmm why don't we just do a mixture of both so let's do your fave on this side oh my god that's so pretty and then I'm gonna do girlies on the other side Oh my gosh, stunning. I'm gonna do girlies on both sides because that's like the perfect gold moment. That is stunning. I love it. I love the look. I love it. I love, I'm excited to play with the neutrals off camera, um, but these colors are stunning. Stunning, stunning. So let me go ahead and put some mascara and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I finished out my mascara and I just want to show you guys something. <laughs> look at that shimmer. Okay, so overall, like, my thoughts are still the same as I mentioned. If you like it, if you want to support them, the just know that you are getting the quality that you deserve. So overall, super happy with it. I'll probably take this on vacation with me. This is gorgeous. Congratulations. It's stunning. Stunning. So I only put cream uh, bronzer on because there is a shade in the blush palette that might work as a bronzer for me. I don't know. It actually has four blushes and four highlighters. So this is what it looks like. I think that they did a really great job of getting shades that I feel like a lot of people would really enjoy and it would work for like their skin tone. And then the fact that there's two highlighters makes it even better. Again, you also get a really, really nice mirror. I actually haven't swatched these, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you guys. Tell me what else you need. This is, I know it might look like brown on camera, but it's actually, it's like a very, like browny plummy type of shade it's actually gorgeous this is like a perfect hot pink peachy pink and then bubblegum purple tone pink that everybody loves these highlighters are insane this is like a gold one and a pinky one oh my gosh should we try to do this blush as like an all over type of blushy bronzer why not um, I'm gonna grab the fluffy tapered brush and I'm only gonna grab a little bit because these do look like they're pigmented and then maybe I can like put this everywhere. 
I don't know. Sounds fun. Really like this tapered brush. Um, these are so nice for just like all over the face powder. If you want to add like bronzer, blush, it just, it makes it so that you don't get any like harsh lines. I love it. Um, this actually looks really, really pretty, even though it's supposed to be a blush. Obviously, you guys can use, you know, these products however you guys want. You guys, I'm having the hardest time filming this video because of the freaking sun, but I hope you guys don't mind. I hope that you don't mind this, okay? So that I can actually use my mirror. So why don't we start out maybe with like the peachy, so, and then maybe we'll put the hot pink on top, so that way I can show you guys as many shades as possible. So I'm gonna go in with Peachy Keen. Um, I don't do a lot of peachy blushes, but I'm excited to see what it's like. It's actually really, really pretty. I think that these blushes are definitely buildable. It's not gonna be like, a crazy amount of pigment, but they're like medium so that now you can actually add a second layer and build it up And it's actually I really like that because sometimes blushes nowadays are just getting like out of hand So that's super super pretty Now I'm gonna grab the hot pink shade, which is the shade rose skyline This is the shade that is calling my name the most I'm just gonna put it on top and this one is definitely darker as you guys can see um, That is so pretty. I feel like I'm applying way too much uh, why does this whole look just look like 80s? I think that the bubblegum pink might be a little bit too light for me But I'm gonna grab the other brush and see if we can like build this up I will say if you have my skin tone, it might be like a really nice like mid-tone blush So I'm just oh, oh my gosh. Okay. It's actually translating Pretty well on my skin tone. It's not like chalky and it actually has that pigment and so it actually is showing up on my skin. I definitely don't think it's like the best shade for my skin, but I know a lot of you guys do like this shade. That looks really, really pretty. I think we officially have all the blushes on. So I'm gonna grab the big fluffy brush and just add a little bit of the, of the rose skyline. Do you think that they did a really good job with putting a, um, from light to deep shades? We have uh, cool tones, warm tones. I mean, really, like this is a pretty good face palette because to me, a pretty good face palette is something that you really can use most of the shades. And right now, I, these are all shades that I would really love to use. Obsessed with this brush, like completely obsessed with it. And then I'm not gonna lie to you guys, these highlighters look extremely intense, um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them on for you guys. I think I wanna use Nude Champagne as a blush topper just to see what that would look like. So with the same brush, I'm just gonna grab a little bit because they're really, really, Blinding and I'm gonna see if I can use it as like a as like an all-over glow blush topper. That's so pretty Look at that. That is a light hand by the way a light hand really 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 pretty and now I'm gonna grab a smaller um, Highlighter brush and we can try out gold fantasy. This is gonna be blinding so I'll just put that on the top of my cheek. You guys know I don't really wear that much highlighter anymore, but these are like perfect inner corner shades, so that's what I would use it for. So that is Gold Fantasy. Really, really pretty. Keep in mind I'm going in with the lightest hand. Like when I tell you guys that these are blinding, they are. So yeah, if you like a pinky highlight or a blush topper, this is perfect. If you like a gold, this is perfect. I really think that they did such a good job with this palette. Little highlighter on the nose, why not? And I also kind of want to touch up my inner corner highlight. You guys know I love just overdoing it and these highlighters overdo it. So I'm gonna grab Gold Fantasy and overdo it. Beautiful. <laughs> I really think that the shades that they picked, uh, at least one of these shades, will look good on your skin tone. So overall, pretty impressed. I would say that the blushes are like medium to full pigmentation. Some like the lighter shades are a little bit more of a medium buildable and then the darker shades are very pigmented and then the highlighters are like extremely extremely pigmented. So if this is something that you're interested in, um, I think it's really, really pretty. Alrighty, and to finish off, we do have the two bullet lipsticks. Again, these are $14 each or $20 for the bundle. Now, they actually use their ship names to name these. Uh, so we have Mora and Lanny. Look at this bullet. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? It has like an ombre gold and then you press this button and the lipstick comes out. So again, this is the shade Lanny and it is definitely like a cool toned pink. These are like a cream formula with a little bit of a sheen. Very pigmented, really, really pretty. Love that. So again, same beautiful packaging. 
pops out and then this is the shade. So that is what we're working with. It feels very creamy and it does look very pigmented. I will show you guys on my lips. Keep in mind, I do have medium skin tones, so it's probably gonna look a little odd <laughs> before I put on lip liner. This is Mora. Oh, see, I told you guys, it's gonna look very washed out on my skin tone, but nothing that a little liner can't fix. So very pigmented right off the bat, feels good. It's very creamy and shiny, but it's not like super thick actually. It's actually pretty lightweight, but it did give me full coverage on the lips. So that is again, Mora. Now let's go ahead and try Lanny. Oh wow, uh, yeah, these are not, <laughs> these are not for my skin tone. I do think these are the type of nudes people love that maybe are a little bit lighter skin tone than me. Keep in mind, Color theory, okay? Keep that in mind. If you have skin tone like me, it's gonna look a little lighter, but if you are lighter, um, it's gonna look a little bit different on you. But as far as the formula goes, so far it's beautiful. So I'm gonna add a liner and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went pretty dark with the lip liner because I think it was needed. It's the Glam Light Frosted Flakes Lip Liner. So I think we're gonna go in with Mora. Yeah, Mora might be better. So I'm just gonna put some in the middle and dab it out. Um, that's gorgeous gorgeous this formula like i said it's really nice it's very um lightweight so like i mentioned it gives me full pigment so you really don't need much um but it's super lightweight you can't really feel it super comfortable that actually looks really nice i'm not gonna lie when i was swatching these i was like oh i don't know about that but i will say with a lip liner this looks gorgeous. Okay guys, so those are all the products. Um, I have to say, I really did enjoy this collection. These are definitely things that I will be using a lot more. Um, the palette is truly 10 out of 10. This is gorgeous. If you want a mixture of color and neutrals, mattes, metallics, I really think that you have it all here. Again, the packaging, insane. Um, I also have to give it to the blush palette, you know. Sometimes these face palettes don't really work for a lot of people, but I really think that they did a really good job in like picking out the shades. Like I mentioned, even if this is too light for you, you can definitely use it as like a mid-tone blush. You can use it as an eyeshadow, but I really think that there's something for everyone here. So I really appreciate that. I think they really did think of everyone. Um, this bag is super cute. Like I mentioned, I have a lot of these bags from Laura Lee Los Angeles. You really can fit so much in there. So um, if you do want to get the bag, you might as well get the brushes. Uh, as far as the brushes, they remind me a lot of what I've tried from Laura Lee Los Angeles. You guys know I'm always using these brushes that are tan. Laura Lee just has great brushes and I have to say um, and I have to say these brushes are just this nice quality. They're super super uh, soft so if you do need a new little brush set um, I do think that you guys would really like it and I know a lot of you guys have been looking for a very big fluffy brush. Let me just show you guys because I always get questions about this one. This one is from Laura Lee Los Angeles. It's the L36. This one is the biggest one that I have, and now this one's actually the biggest. As you guys can see, it's even um, like rounder and fluffier. This one's a little bit more tapered. These brushes are great to just like throw something on the crease and go. And as far as the lipsticks goes, I mean, it really comes down to if, number one, if you prefer something cool tone or peachy to pick which one, just know that it's a creamy, shiny, comfortable, lightweight formula um the bullets are stunning i like really packaging it's really like a 10 out of 10. i really think that two for 20 is a great deal i think i don't know if you guys understand this this does not feel like a 10 dollar lipstick obviously i understand that it's 14 but if you get the bundle for 20 you're paying for some really really good quality so overall pretty impressed i mean i honestly didn't expect anything less from Manny and Laura. They really have great brands and I, I knew that their genius brains were gonna come together. So overall, I'm super happy about it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Have you guys tried it? Do you follow them? Do you like them? Are you interested? I will link the collection down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions and yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and congratulations to Laura and Manny. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.